All right, and hello everybody. Today I'm going to be um, showing you guys how to use Cheat Engine to um, get food and tech points. Now, the first thing you want to do is you want to open up your browser and you want to go to this site right here, www.cheatengine.org, and then um, go to Downloads and uh, you want to download this first one right here now I've already downloaded it so I don't need to do that alright um, I should go ahead and include this in there anyway um, on how to specifically download it so I just decided to do a little recording on this so once you hit the download link um, Hit the decline on all of this. And once you hit the decline on that, it will download. Now, like I said, I've already downloaded it. But I just thought I should show you this anyway. The steps into downloading in downloading this. Alright, and then once it's downloaded, I'm using... You just want to click out of that. And then you want to go to um, to your downloads folder and it should be in here and it would be right there you see though I already downloaded it but alright so you want to go ahead and click on it now I have already done this but I'm just going to show you how to do it anyway alright hit install anyway yes now once you get the setup on you want to go ahead and click next and then click accept and then the next again. All right, now once you get to this uh, um, area, install additional software. You want to go down to this little checkbox and uncheck it so it doesn't download uh, the additional software because you don't want this. And then after you've unchecked this box you want to go ahead and then hit the uh, next button and then you can download it and I've already installed it so I'm not going to hit the button so and that's how you do that but you want to download this one right here 6.81 alright and after you've downloaded it click out of the browser and then of course open up your game I guess if you don't already have it open I recommend having it closed when you download it so and then you wanna go over here and then open up cheat engine just click yes and then it'll open up this um, box right here now what you wanna do is you wanna go over here to this little um, computer icon and select a process to open now the one you want to open is the one that uh, this one right here the one that says virtual villagers you wanna in my case I got expanded here but you wanna click on this one right here and then click on open alright now the first thing you wanna do is make sure ah. huh? you enter this value right here like if you're doing food um, click and uh, go to here and type in 290 and then hit first scan and it will bring up a long list of um, processes sometimes it can be really long but it's only 24 which is good I guess alright now you wanna have a villager get food ah. you wanna have a villager get food so you just gotta kinda be patient here <laughs> Yeah, what you want to do is after you've typed in this first value, the value of the food that I've typed in here, you want to have the value changed so that way you can um, narrow this down. Just gotta wait for this villager to get... Yeah, so basically once this villager gets here and then the value of this food, chain, food changes, 
you want to go in here and type in the new value and then hit next scan. I'll show you here in a minute as soon as this villager gets there. I'm going to have huh? these guys. Ah. Alright, now the value is 300. Now since there's only 24, it'll probably be easy just to find the value here, but... Oh, and now it went down to 28. As you can see, since it was only Ooh. um 24, I don't really need to do a next scan because, as you see, this is the value right here. But I'm going to go ahead and show you anyway. So, like, if you get more um, search results, more than just 24, like if it's in the thousands or hundreds or whatever, what you want to do, I'm just going to go ahead and show you. What you want to do is type in the new value, which is now 288. And then you would hit next scan. But I technically didn't need to do that because I only had 24 and it showed it right there. So, And usually when the value changes, the, it will turn red. So, alright, and then you would go ahead and click on that. Double click it. And then it will show up down here. Now what you want to do, now that it's down here, you want to click, click, double, uh, double click this, the value, right there. And then it brings up this box here. And then you type in your new value. Like say for example you want a million. Just being funny. 1,000, 10,000, uh, 100,000, 1 million. So that, that's 1 million. And so there you go. Now you have 1 million food. Well, 1 million nine because you just put some more food there. All right, now for the tech points, it's basically the same thing. You want to type in the value, what it is, 99. And hit first can scan there. All right, now, now it says that it's found 182. All right. Now what you want to do is you want to have a villager come over here and work on... Now this is a better example of why you'd need to use next scan Because it shows 182 instead of just 24. Alright, so you want to have this villager... Might take a few tries because this villager is inexperienced. Or maybe not. Alright, now that it's 100, you want to go over here, type in the new value, 100. Hit next scan. And now it's only found two. Now, out of these two addresses is the right one. Alright, you just want to double click it. Alright, so I've chosen the second one down. It could be either, either one of them, really. Alright. But it's usually the second one down sometime, most of the time, but we'll see. Alright, change that to 1 million. That's 10,000, 100,000 million. Alright, and there you now you have a million tech points. And that is how you use Cheat Engine. And I'll leave a link in the description for this uh, site. Um, to use at your convenience and uh, that concludes this tutorial and uh, if this was helpful give it a thumbs up and that's it everybody